our God, gracious and compassionate Father in heaven, we give our complete praise and surrender our entire life into your most holy name. Your greatness and majesty are beyond our understanding, yet we know that the plans you have for us were written with divine care. Today is your gift to us. You allow us to feel that the sacrifices we endured are worth reaping and celebrating. Your words will be forever a lamp for us, a guide to light our way, and a solid ground to set our feet. Indeed, your generosity had sustained us and led us to this special day, our completion and graduation day. Father, we stand before you in humility. Have mercy on us. Forgive us of our trespasses, for we know many times we fall. Help us always to keep our eyes fixed upon you as we seek the way that is fewer, as we seek to taste your love and goodness. May we delight always in your ways and receive new mercies each day. Thank you for this special day. Be with us as we uniquely celebrate the achievements of our studies, the toil of our hands. We thank you for the success of our journey despite the pandemic crisis. We thank you for granting us a focus and direction and the strength and endurance. Your spirit of wisdom had empowered our hard work and discipline in such a way that our hunger for learnings has been nourished with knowledge, discovery, creativity, and the determination. All these good things came from you. Thank you. Today, we also pray for all of those who have met the challenges and kept the faith to the commitment of our studies. We are grateful for our families who have cheered us on to the finish line and stood by our sides through thick and thin, and the many significant others who have sacrificed and worked to see us to this hopeful moment. For our teachers and school principal who have richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst who have challenged, cared, and cropped at us along this academic year journey. We pray for our fellow students who have taught us more about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. We pray for our school, Sangali National High School, which has given us a safe place and a strong foundation to build upon as we make the next step into your world. Today we also pray for tomorrow. This completion and graduation rites open another door in another time. Father, as you have led us in the past, lead now into the future. Give us focus and clarity and a calling from you to understand our purpose and the courage to step toward it. Father, there will be more challenges to face and more will be demanded of us in order to accomplish good things. May your grace cover our anxieties and fears so that we may stay encouraged about the future. Give us patience and hope to motivate our search for work that is just and make proper use of our gifts. Give us courage to face the challenges of carving out a place in our society. This we ask in your most holy name. Amen. Sure.
the graduation ceremony of batch 2021. My dearest candidates for graduation, as your grade level chairperson, I take pleasure in welcoming you all to this very important occasion in your life. Thus, with much joy, I take pride in your achievement of finally completing your basic education. How time flies so fast and I believe the journey you ventured for this day to arrive was not that easy. So, as you transition to yet another challenging journey in your life, may you be filled with more courage and wisdom. May you continue to have the strength and determination to soar greater heights towards the fulfillment of your dreams. Despite of the situation, I am hopeful that you still enjoy and cherish this moment of your life as graduates. I wish you all the best, have faith that the path you will next traverse will be smooth and clear. Continue to strive harder for the realization of your desires in life. One day, when our paths will cross again, I hope to see you all successful in your respective fields. Congratulations, our dear candidates for graduation, and may the brightest future be bestowed upon you in the years to come. Have a blissful day ahead to one and all. Our school's division superintendent, Dr. Roy C. Tubalia, I have the honor to present to you the 215 candidates for graduation, of whom 79 are male and 136 are female, with 50 in the Agri Fishery Arts One, specializing in aquaculture, 108 from the Home Economics, and 57 from the Humanities and Social Sciences. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed the K-12 basic education program as prescribed by the Department of Education. As the school principal of Sengali National High School, I hereby recommend them for your acceptance and confirmation. By the power vested upon me as the school's division superintendent of Sumpongo City, I now confirm you as graduates or completers for the school year 2020-2021. Congratulations to you as well as your parents. God bless everyone. Keep safe. Twelve Wisteria Academic Track Humanities and Social Sciences. Agil Al Sharif J. Ando James Ryan B. Andu Aldrin P. With honors. Baako Glovin Jeff G. With honors. Banog Banog Roberto Jr. C. Besa Giancarlo M. Cuzon Daniel N. De La Peña Jenrick Zeus S. Falca Santos Andre James B. Hassan Muhammad Borhan I. Jalalin Barshimar U. Limen Aaron F. Ortega Darius T. Ortega Eugene L. Rafales Francis M. Ramos Lady Jude. Rebolios Jason N. Rubio Jenry A. Sabiran Joshua L. 
Sarmiento Jimhar N. Urmineta Kent J. Ward A. Valderrama Yawi L. Villanueva Alzon D. Aizon Nathalie Rosette B. Alalong Michelle T. Alpeche April Joy P. Aradais Rapida N. Asani Maricel. Aspajin Ferdausa A. Bagongon Trisha May L. Brillantes May Ann P. Chong Shaila I. Koro Sharina May M. Diki Holyani M. Duhay Sod Rosemary C. With Honors. Gekilan Lovely. Harun Misba A. Indasan Rajmina T. With Honors. Jaani Aina M. Jamali Shehan S. Ladores Altricia Nicole A. Magbulugdong Argeline G. Manlangit Leah Grace R. Maslin Adelaida A. Mayordomo Josa P. Molina Risa Jane J. Olis Stephanie M. Madon Chea Bless F. Pio Quinto Sherry May A. Sainil Rufaida I. Samlain Charmaine P. Surahid Fatima Jarnia J. Tonyakaw Angel Joy B. Torres Luan C. Wahi Intan J. Yakaizon Lisel L. Yunus Imraida T. Mark Anthony U. Santos, Class Advisor. 12 Acacia TVL Track, Agri Fishery Arts. Abdul Norhan A. Abu Ritsan B. Ahmad Sharhan J. Ajahum Rajam A. Asari Azmar S. Galisan Michael B. Barbas Jeric M. Barbas Jericho M. Barbas Merjan M. Versales Rainier. Orla Janjeko S. Chavez Aljon A. Coro Arfel A. Danda AJC. Guadalquivir John Paul D. Insalada Francis L. Laroya Rahan M. Leonardo Richard T. E. Llanos E. J. T. E. Manlangit Romary R. 
Montano Alin A. Taviano Charles Darren E. Pactol Javin H. Pael Mariano Ivan K. Palma Larry Boy Jr. S. Palma Levy S. Kala Leonard V. Salariana Alvin G. Talim Dasem A. Toto Surain S. Valderrama Christian L. Alasti City Ainul S. Alvarez Rica L. Amang Misra S. Barbon Christine E. Besa Christine M. Columbres Grizel E. Esola Justin C. Unain Noraini T. Ismael Jariza P. Ismael Jariza P. Jajuli Arnalin L. Junaid Nuraina A. Janos Beverly B. More Rachel F. Oviera Charmaine B. Pedi Giseline G. Portabis Rose Camille F. Sagal Yuli Jane S. Otto Basma S. Jurisal K. Tawasil Class Advisor. 12 Olive EVL Truck Home Economics. Abdurajak Ismael A. Alvarez Kenneth T. Ascalon Bobby Jr. T. Takoy and Levy C. Abby Juhan Steven C. Lanutan Remark B. Makabenta Roel M. Magasa Walid G. Masiliones Ronel M. Phil Kyle Marcelino P. Samsawi Jibar A. Arami Abdul Aziz P. Arosa Berkeley James N. Abdani Kajija L. Ahmad Minaka A. Ajahum Simang B. Albani Nurhida I. Ali Rahima A. Amar Eshamlin Nova A. Asa Nurmia S. Bedonia LVC Vargamento Norlin C Baya Angeli PR Bernales Abigail S Burlas Everlyn I Cantano Lovejoy P Eve Honors De La Peña Vanessa A. 
de los Santos, Julian Tate A. De los Santos, Lou Belly C. De Makiling Arajoy A. De Mahil Marja U. Fernandez Naira N. Francisco Mary Grace P. Gahosta Resolin M. Haji Rushna S. Ibni Sharipa N. Insalada Precious L. Kaafar Marisa M. Alon Jezebel B. Lipae Norwati S. Magallanes Anjali S. Magasa Siti Aiza O. Maghinay Nisa M. Majid Rowaina I. Morante Angelica F. Oliveros Jane Lezette C. Rebadonia Ronnie Rose C. Sabanto Jennifer Joy B. Sairad Nurhida H. Samlahin Marquisa J. Samson Marlina J. Sumalino Muraisa I. Taib Nuri A. Uy Desopril C. Velasco Julieta G. Eid Honors. Mary Expoline S. Studio Class Advisor. Twelve Maple TVL Track Home Economics. Abunawas Alquidar L. Arroyo Janrel R. Otida Jonas V. Ego Jeffrey M. Felix Jesboy D. Hamid Abdulaji Jr. A. Haruddin Cedric Mukim M. Lebed Dimer R. Lozada John Lloyd S. Magasa Fahad A. Medes Marvin P. Sahibil Jordan A. Abdani Almaida S. Abu Bakar Jasmine Hartkiza H. Akalista Divine Mercy R. Albani Risma B. Andung April Joy T. Asamuddin Rufaida H. Asmarin Armina J. Asnawi Ruhida M. Otor Angelica G. Bai Zehan P. Bangalisan Rosel B. Bilbao Diana Jane S. Brigole Mayan D. Serera Charme D. Kramales Serlane S. Dahili Ravi K B. Dion Christie D. 
Gregorio Shamil E. Haman Raisa A. Hasan Tasnim B. Ibrahim Nisa A. Idang Marbia A. Limen Baby Blair A. Manalo Mara Roxanne B. Martesano Lady Ann E. Martesano Maridel S. Maulay Perwina K. Molina Faith Joy G. Musa Camela P. Omar Jasima K. Basculado Ermeline V. Pongase Kate Almira N. Rojas Monica E. Sabiran Farwa A. Salihin Darkisa T. Samsawi Najra L. Samson Mizrana J. Sarmiento Bea C. Tadi Nuraima D. Uro Reyame L. Uto Umul Salma F. Carmela May M. Bagtasos, Class Advisor. Confirmant of Medals Andung Aldrin P. With Honors Baako Glovin Jeff G. With Honors Cantano Lovejoy P. With Honors Duhay Lungsod Rosemary C. With Honors Indasan Radzmina T. With Honors Velasco Julieta G with honors. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed 
to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies thank you uh, local government uh, units but of course most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school you went to school practically without seeing your teachers if at all you went to school with your parents your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments you are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different you are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time uh, even as you have to do family chores even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next but you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education 
from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, 
This is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the regional office, let me greet each and every one of you with this felicitation. Happy, happy graduation. There are three persons whom we dedicate this event first and foremost your parents they have given you so much love and understanding even at this pandemic time if there is that group of persons who are very happy for this accomplishment that you have in this covid pandemic time it's your parents despite the problems of limited access to an online modality of learning, they have given the necessary support, especially financial support. Even for those who cannot afford, parents have gone out of their way just to help you out. And through the years, from the beginning of your schooling, our parents, your parents, have always been there. In fact, in a classical way of saying, 
You have never become one without your parents. What you are today, it's all because of your parents. And so to the parents who are attending also the virtual graduation exercises, let me thank you and let me congratulate all of you for having done your best as parents. After all, the real jewels in our family are our children. What they have achieved today is actually a beacon to reckon with. And that would be an accomplishment also for us as parents. The second group that we should acknowledge and give accolade is the group of our teachers. And so to our teachers, to your teachers, let me also congratulate and be grateful for that untiring support that you have given in this very challenging COVID pandemic time. We have limited resources, we have limited time and space, but you are true to the work of a teacher. Actually, the theme of strengthening quality education despite this COVID pandemic time rests on the shoulders of our teachers. And so we have tested you for your resilience, for your perseverance, and for your remarkable competency, especially in matters of adjusting the learning resources. And so to our teachers, again, DepEd Region 9 is very grateful for all the sacrifices that you have extended in the parlance of the theme of our 123rd Philippine Independence Day, you have, you have become our heroes because despite the time and the space, you continuously pursue the delivery of the self-learning modules or the so-called blended learning modality. And the last group, of course, is your very own selves, coupled with the support of our local government units, especially also the school administrators. Let me congratulate and thank all of you, especially the principals, who have done all a lot of things just to install and implement the basic learning continuity plan that we have installed for all our schools, even the private schools. And so today is a day of what we call a day of happiness, whether we like it or not. Let's all be cheerful that finally we have reached the end part, the finale of your learning for this school year, 2020-2021. Of course, we all know that this has been a very unique experience having adapted the so-called SLM, the self-learning modules, as a way of getting insights, knowledge, and developing our skills. There are a lot of problems that come our way, especially as we comply with the IETF health protocols, especially that there are a lot of restrictions in the part of our learners. But in totality, we've been through to our mantra that learning must continue. This has been the claimer of our secretary that learning must continue. And so we did prove to ourselves and to the community that learning has continuously been pursued by all of us. And so for Gen X, Gen Y, the millennials and your group Gen Z, we really are very appreciative of that kind of effort that you have extended. There were cases that you have started to stop and be tempted to drop out, but because of the persistence of your parents, the dedication and the commitment of our school administrators and teachers, finally you decided that you should also continue. Indeed, you have continued. Thus, 
your graduation exercises today. And so to all of you, our warm congratulations and felicitations for having done a good job. And so to class 2021, a unique class of COVID era, may you have a positive outlook after these graduation exercises as we welcome the next school year and as you welcome also the next set of challenges for your next ladder, next journey as you want to put yourselves in that challenging part of educating yourselves and feeling accomplished eventually being part of nation building. So to all of you, congratulations. To all of you who have proven that you are still very strong in mind and in spirit with a strong commitment to pursue quality education. Again, congratulations. Muchisimas gracias. Hasta la vista. I bow respect to the parents, relatives, friends, and everyone else here in this platform, and most especially to our teachers and our honorees for today, which is our graduates for school year 2020-2021. The theme for our graduation is kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Or in English, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. We have survived yet another year of the COVID-19 pandemic. And with surviving, that means to say that we have fully delivered quality education. That's why we have in this platform the parents, the teachers, the friends, the relatives who are testament to the effort of our students in achieving quality education despite the COVID-19 pandemic. This would not have been made possible without the help of our parents most especially. It is because in this kind of new normal as they may call it, our children, our learners learn at home. That is why our parents played a big role in the delivery of quality basic education. It is even made strengthened because of the effort of the parents in collaboration with their teachers. I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart the parents who really helped us in this in delivering quality basic education. Also, not to discount the effort of our teachers with guidance from their school heads wherein they made possible the delivery of quality basic education in accordance with the basic education learning continuity plan which uses the blended modular distance learning. For Sambuanga City, we have utilized various learning platforms such as online, offline, printed online and printed digital even interactive we have explored all alternatives that means to say we, we have not leave all stern and turn wherein we have used also to the extent and with thankfulness and gratitude to our partners especially who bro who made possible the radio based instruction as well as the tv based instruction this will not be made possible without the full cooperation with our major stakeholders, the city government, all local officials, even at the barangay levels, and also our major stakeholders, the TV station, radio station, and everyone else in the tri-media. Even social media was not spared, especially in the delivery of quality basic education. This is a living testament that in surviving yet another year of a uh, new normal type of quality education. The spirit of Bayanihan is made alive wherein everyone pitch in their effort 
so that our learners can continue on with quality basic education. I guess it's really true. And I'm sure not only guess, but it's really true that everyone is really concerned when it comes to education. It takes the whole village to educate a child. No why? Cosa impossible. Cre hunto hunto pede. Again, my congratulations to our graduates for school year 2020-2021, including their parents as well as the teachers and school head. God bless everyone. Keep safe. And we all together must pray that we survive this pandemic until it is obliterated. God bless everyone. Again, our service slogan, which we all of us stand for. No hay cosa imposible. Cre junto junto puede. Nothing is impossible. Believe together we can. Sa lahat ng mag-aaral, lalo na sa mga magtatapos sa taong kasalukuyan, isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang edukasyon ay isang karapatan na naayon sa salidang batas na dapat nating bigyang halaga sa anumang hamon sa buhay kahit pa sa isang nakakahablang pandemya. Ang gagawaran ng edukasyon ay walang pag-atubiling bigyang buhay ang bawat pangarap ng isang batang Pilipino. Ito ay naging batayan ng Ed Division ng Sabuanga City. Kahit sa gitna ng pandemya at magkakaiba man ang ating kultura, paniniwala at lugar, nagkakaisa kaming hinarap ang hamon sa pagtataguyod ng basic education. Mahirap man, ngunit di natin mapagkakaila na naging mapamaraan at naging mahalikhain tayo para maitaas natin ang antas at kalidad ng edukasyon. Buong puso nating pasasalamatan ang lahat, ang mga guro na siyang kumakaharap na nagbigay buhay at pag-asa na kasamang nilaan ang buhay at diwa para maituloy ang edukasyon ng mga batang sa bonggenyos. Sa ating mga magulang, patuloy na niniwala sa kakayahan ng mga namumuno sa paralan at mga guro sa pamamagitan ng lingguhang Kuha Hatid Balik Modules, yan po ay isang banal na pagmamahal para sa inyong mga anak. Sa ating mga stakeholders, PTA, private institution and partners, local officials, lalo na ang LJU sa Buangga City, na sa gitna ng aming minsang pag-aaninlangan dahil sa katulangan ng mapagkukunan, ay bukas lagi ang kanilang mga kamay na iiabot lahat ng pangangkailangan para sa edukasyon ng mga bata. Indeed, we are all God's stewards of our unity, love, and concern for our children and learners is an indication of His victory. Todo kita trabaha para kandi atong estudyantes ikon Dios la gloria. No hay cosa imposible, pre, punto junto, puede. Again, to all graduates and computers, congratulations. I wish to extend my heartfelt greetings and warmest congratulations to the graduating class and completers of Quadrant 2.1, Kuruan Quadrant, for school year 2020-2021. It is with great pride and honor that I also congratulate the parents for their success in providing their children proper guidance and support. Let me also greet the dynamic teachers for their dedication shown to their pupils or students for their heroic responsibility in molding beautiful ideas and beautiful heart. This school year is not like any other since we are amidst a pandemic. None of us would forget March 20, 2020 when we had a total lockdown that was an experience for a lifetime for everyone. It totally changed us and gave us new perspective that experience gave us time to reflect, to realize a lot of things about oneself and for some. It made us more self-aware 
than we were before. Although the lockdown was not kind to everyone, I remember people saying that we are on the same boat, but in reality, we are not on the same boat as some people struggle to stay afloat to feed themselves. A lot of us have lost people close to our hearts due to COVID-19. The Department of Education have gone above and beyond to deliver the blended modular distant learning modality to cater to everyone regardless of status in the society. We, the deputy officials, have heard you, learners, when you cried your frustration over the school year that we had. May we had have offered you consolations in any way that would have shown you that we care. Rest assured that we are doing our best amidst the new normal that we are presently in. May you, our learners, be a member of the society who brings upon positive change in our community and country. We are definitely proud of the success that you have accomplished today. I'm sure today will be only the first of many proud successful moments for you. Congratulations today and best wishes for all your tomorrows. School year 2020-2021 has finally end. Because of this pandemic, this year has been a very challenging year for all of us. A year with full of uncertainties and will be remembered by the next generations to come. I know everyone is proud that despite the many challenges that this pandemic has brought us, you never stop to pursue your dreams and your goals in achieving your diplomas. Adapting in this modular learning without a sense of preparedness has never been easy. You are like warriors who embark on wars without adequate training, but because of your perseverance and the will to reach your goal, you were able to do it. I salute you graduates as you continue to embark in the, the journey of reaching your goals. You will be faced with more challenges and uncertainties. But whatever it may be, you should never give up. The world is still yours to shape. The values and knowledge inculcated in you by your parents and teachers should be used as your weapons in achieving your lifelong dreams. Today is still worthy of celebration and enjoyment. Amid the situation, that the whole world is facing. Graduation day is still a great achievement no matter what circumstances we are in. So be proud and happy. Continue to be resilient that whatever obstacle you will face will be always be surpassed. Soar high to reach your dreams. I wish you all the best on your graduation day. Congratulations, Batch! 2020-2021. My dear graduates, your journey has just begun. Today marks not the end, but the beginning of a more meaningful journey that will define your future. Your two-year struggle to finish your senior high school education was not easy, for the road was long and winding. You have experienced various obstacles along the way in this very trying time. But you hurdled them all. You surpassed all challenges amidst pandemic due to sheer determination, committed teachers, supportive family and friends, and above all, to the guidance of our Almighty God. This year's rights focuses on the theme, Kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. I am sure that your education at Sangali National High School has armed you 
not only with knowledge and skills, but more importantly, you were imbued with values that would help you succeed in life. The best version of yourself is yet to come, for as you journey through life, challenges will not serve as stumbling blocks. Instead, they should motivate you to become bolder and fiercer in reaching for your dreams. Your strength and desire to be victorious in life will enable you to face the challenges head on as you decide on the path that you will take. Pursuing a degree program, becoming entrepreneurs or skilled workers. Today, you have proven to us, especially your teachers and parents, that you truly deserve your diploma, for you earned it with honor and dignity. From today onwards, start to fly and harness your passion, for each one of you have a calling, either to be a doctor, teacher, nurse, pilot, engineer, policeman, entrepreneur, skilled worker, and many other professions. Finally, may your new journey be more meaningful and fulfilling. And remember, Sangali National High School shall always be your home. And no hay cosa imposible, cre junto junto puede. Congratulations and commendations to each and every one of you on these remarkable achievements of graduation. To the ever active principal of Sangali National High School, Dr. Alga Z. Harlega, the unfaltering teachers and staff, proud parents, fellow graduates, guests, friends, online viewers, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of you. We all witnessed how different the academic year 2020 to 2021 for all of us. It is far from anything we've ever experienced before. The school activities and interactions we went through were unusual because our usual classroom scenarios have been thrown into a disarray brought about by this global phenomenon in the name of COVID-19. This is not how we envisioned our last year in high school to be. Nevertheless, this academic year has become one of our most meaningful learning experiences. As we embark ourselves in the new way of teaching and learning, I am certain that all of our sacrifices were necessary pains and were, all were just worth it. We skillfully juggled with several independent learning activities and try to make it in time for modular learning and video performance tests. We had sleepless nights, finishing up a steady stream of assignments, and reading tough academic capsules. Despite the incalculable and unusual year we all had, at this juncture, I can proudly say that we are here and we finally made it. Our virtual graduation today is a testament of our hard work, commitment, and the sacrifices we have all made over the last two senior high school years. I am convinced that the happiness radiating in our virtual celebration today lies both in the joy of our academic achievements and the thrill of the collective efforts we exerted to get here. The seeds of our determination have borne fruit. And so today, let us sit back, enjoy, and celebrate the culmination of all our efforts. At this juncture, allow me to sincerely express my deepest gratitude to the people who have walked the academic journey with us despite of this current situation. The success of us graduates relies on the support and effort of the significant people around us. So, on behalf of Class 2021, I would like to extend my sincerest gratitude to our school administrator, faculty, and staff led by our school principal, Dr. Elga Z. Harlega, for providing us the tools and resources we needed to succeed in school and later in life. We shall forever value our remarkable stay here at our alma mater, 
the Sangali National High School. To our most respected and inspiring teachers, especially our advisors and subject teachers, you are the real heroes in this trying time. We thank you for being such an amazing teacher and for all your great lessons, even with the barriers of distance and technology. We feel so fortunate to have been placed under your care. You have amazed and inspired us daily, and for that, we are thankful because you truly have reached out for us and have enabled to bring out the best in us amidst this situation. Personally, I am taking this moment to express my gratitude to my loving family who witnessed my triumphs and challenges in all my school undertaking. Thank you for all the worthy experiences, for the efforts each of us has exerted for the betterment of the class, and for all the merriment, indulgence, and trips we had together. I am grateful for the camaraderie we have shared despite the physical distance during modular learning. High school life would have been incomplete without the presence of each one who bears unique personalities in class. Also, a quick thank you to my beloved best friends who flashes a smile on my face during tough times and for always being there and not letting me face difficult situations alone. Above all, I thank our Almighty God for His protection, guidance, and unceasing love. We thank you for transforming us, renewing our minds, and for guiding us in another fruitful school year filled with relevant learnings that we will be bringing with us as we embark on a brand new journey after graduating high school. To my fellow graduates of Batch 2021, my utmost applause for all the courage and commitment you have invested to reach this moment today. I encourage everyone to be fearless in the pursuit of what sets our souls on fire. Let us not let anyone hold us back. Let us not stop chasing for our dreams in life. Let us pursue our passion and fulfill our purpose. May we continue to soar high for the realization of whatever endeavor we decide to venture on. My warmest congratulations to us graduates of Batch 2020 to 2021. Thank you very much and have a great day ahead of us. It's been a pleasure being with all of you in the past years of your high school lives, most especially that the end of the academic year 2019-2020 and the start of the school year 2020 and 2021 had really been a roller coaster ride to us all. Thank you all for your patience and drive to pursue, and I wish you all well for that. You manifested such a strong will to pursue your ambitions in life by continuing your educative journey. You chose to stay at school, though not literally, for you all to continually learn and incessantly acquire cash, the knowledge, proper attitude, skills, and positive habits that will surely equip you all along the way towards achieving greater heights in life. It's been an honor to be among those who share the part, not only in your academic lives, but also in the most challenging days of your respective lives. We equally recognize the selfless efforts, care, love, and service of all the teachers to make this very challenging school year a still possible one. The concerted efforts and initiatives of the Department of Education, together with the strong leadership of our administration in this institution, Dr. El Ghazi Harlega, our school principal, along with the commitment and dedication of all teachers, plus the ceaseless support of all your parents and other dependable stakeholders, everything was almost possible despite some uncertainties. Nothing great comes easy. Those which come easy are not great, a professor once said. Indeed, these trying times amidst the world pandemic have brought about positivity in us all. 
your perseverance and gusto successfully built your bridges towards finishing your secondary school education. And what comes next? A step closer to a more profound future to dearest learners. More than just being in our classrooms once, physically, then virtually. We all want to see you spread your wings wider as you explore more of your potentials and talents. Always remember, you are all great. Lastly, let us never forget that all these hurdles in life were to test our impervious determinations in life. But our guards weren't left down because we are all graced with our faiths in our Almighty Father. Hold on tight to your faith and focus on what you really want to achieve and what you want really to become someday soon. In behalf of your Sangali National High School family, I share this glorious milestone in your lives and I share as well the great joys in you and in your family's delight and pride. Our warmest felicitations to you all, Senior High School graduates.